change over time. You know, when the Eiffel Tower was first built in Paris, many people called it useless and monstrous. Hey, you don't have to go back too many years to remember when spray painting on walls was considered to be an eyesore. In those days, we didn't have artists like Brian Lewis. In tonight's Buckley Report, Bob meets the man with a can of spray paint. Mount Airy is a town somewhat frozen in time, still clinging to that little bit of Mayberry Americana that remains in its grasp. But Brian Lewis came by to add a touch of modern art to the side of a building he sees as a canvas. I look at all walls as canvases. For the man whose body is a bit of a canvas itself. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm tattooed. I got a couple. I'm a collector. It begins with something that looks like a cross between secret code and, well, gibberish. It is. Only I know what it means. Well, I'm using these markings on the wall, these random markings, as uh, kind of anchor points for where my outline is going across them. The outline for a mural that will, when it's done, amaze everyone who walks by because the end product of every mural created by the man who goes by the professional name, Jex, is beyond spectacular. I just get on cruise control on the wall and just paint. Whether it's Martin Luther King Jr., a young Frank Sinatra, or this one of graphic novel icon Stan Lee in Greensboro, his work looks more like a photograph than a painting. I hear that a lot. It's, I don't necessarily know how I do it either. For Jax, it began as a kid growing up in Winston-Salem. Funny story, um, in the Boy Scouts, I was uh, friends with all the skater kids, and um, a friend introduced me to, you know, tagging and spray painting under bridges and stuff. That's right, graffiti. Jax found a way to turn a misdemeanor into money. Yeah, make a good living. Um, Isn't that crazy? It is, it is. I was, joke every once in a while and say like sometimes crime does pay you know like um, but now don't listen to that kids he's traveled the world turning nearly 250 empty walls into artistic wonders it's roller paint time I don't have an artistic like background like any schooling or anything like that so I just kind of learned as I went um, you know from painting with other friends, they teach you a couple tricks. It's more than a trick to turn this to this in just a week. The Mount Airy mural is an ode to native daughter Donna Fargo. Very happy with it. I feel like the community is very happy with it. I see a beautiful woman, um, beautiful artist as well, and um, I see a uh, gift to the community. The old and the new now stare at each other across an alleyway. The folks in town just stare, and the moral of the story, as far as the artist is concerned, is don't sleep on your dreams. I started painting professionally at like 35. I'm 40 now, and you know, I got started late in life, but if it's something you're meant to do, then it'll happen. Uh, but just give it a shot, and you know, sometimes it pays off. Fox 8 News. Just give it a shot. I love that message. His work name, Jex, is a shortened version of Jekyll, which is used, what he used to sign his graffiti. He says his goal is to work on a wall hundreds of feet high. In the meantime, you can see the Donna Fargo mural at 175 North Main Street in Mount Airy and much of his other work all around the Piedmont.